what's up hello y'all welcome back to the complicated entertainment channel if you are new to the channel what's up if you are new if you are not new welcome on back to the channel i'm so so glad you are back and you are tuning in again let's get right into today's video okay child let's wake this tea up allegedly offset is being accused of getting a woman pregnant okay and making her get an a b o r t i o n for chump change okay this is crazy this is just insane oh my gosh every five business days cardi b is getting cheated on all right i, I mean this is just insane all right um then the girl who is allegedly gotten pregnant her name was pre okay um and pre she is on social media okay going back and forth with this girl named blue okay now if you ask me i feel bad i mean i feel bad for cardi like imagine you think i mean i don't feel bad for her i'm sorry I'm sorry, I don't feel bad. You you kept going back to him. This is what people do not understand. When you go back to the person who did something to you, all right, let's say he cheated on you one time, okay? And you go back to him, okay? He cheated on you again, you go back to him. That means that in his brain, subconsciously, he is going to think cheating is okay because you keep coming back, all right? You keep, you, you keep coming back. So whatever it is that they're doing that you don't like, but you keep going back to them, they're going to keep doing it again and again and again because they know no matter what you do, or no matter what, what they do, I'm sorry, you're going to be back. You're going to be right back, sucking their dick on your knees, right there, cooking and cleaning. Like, like, they, like they notice. You see what I'm saying? But it's gotten far as kids. That's insane. Okay, now this this is just, you know, all this alleged news is just insane to me. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. All right. Um, wow. Why can't he be happy with his wife? Does Cardi B not do enough for him? Okay, is Cardi B just not a good wife at all? Like, what is the tea behind that? Okay, I feel like there's something that the marriage, you know, isn't really quite, you know, it's not quite connecting, you know, something is missing in that marriage, you know? I'm not, not, no, no, no relationship is perfect. I'm not saying that, okay? No, nothing is perfect, okay? But Cardi B is online saying that, like, she loves her man. She has the best man out here. Whoop, 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 whoop. But your man having babies on you, allegedly, that's not a flex. That's, that's embarrassing. And you married to that man, okay? This is just awful. And one thing that I've noticed about all the women that Offset cheats on Cardi B with is they all look better than Cardi B. Okay, they all look better than her. All right, the face just be, be, it just be, I don't know. It's like, them girls be pretty, okay? Um, pretty is pretty. The girl pretty, she's gorgeous, okay? Pretty, pretty girl, okay? Um, but no shade, though. I feel bad, though. I feel bad for the family, because, you know, this is a whole family that we're talking about, okay? Cardi B, the kids, all, that's a whole family, okay? And the father is out here cheating on the wife? Mm, mm, mm. But to me, what's also crazy is women still messing with the married man, okay? Um, that's, that's weird, too. No shade. I don't care if the man is in your DMs um, or, you know, he wants you bad in public. Like, it doesn't matter, girl. You know he's married. You know he's famous. You're, that's weird, too. Like, I, I'm going to call out weirdness. I mean, but no shade, though. No shade. Um, I always put the blame on the person who's in a relationship. I'm always put the blame on them. But there's a little bit of a blame when a person you know is famous and they're married. You, you big Girl, you know what's going on, okay? I don't know, child. You know, at the end of the day, <sighs> what y'all got to say about this? This is too much tea. The tea is hot. The tea is hot. Okay, let's move on to this next topic, all right? Okay, y'all. Did y'all hear the news? Um, Megan Thee Stallion is out here trying to do a documentary, okay? Um, she's doing a docu-series for her life. Apparently, she is trying to showcase the world what she's been going through recently and what's been going on in her mind, what's been going on in her personal life, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Um, this is great. This is good, right? But no shade. If this is going to be talking about the Tory Lane situation, I don't want it. I'm tired of it, okay? It's like every chance that Megan gets, she's dragging out the whole Tory situation. Girl, he's locked up. He's in jail. You got your justice. What the fuck do you keep talking about it for? For real. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to hear about Tory Lanez the rest of your life. I understand, yes, he does play a big part in your trauma. Yes, I know that. I understand that. But a big part of healing is, like, not talking about it all the time. I mean, unless you're talking to a therapist about it all the time, great. Yes, cool. Because I do understand, just because something happened to you and they got their justice, you know, that does not remove the hurt and pain that you went through. I understand that. I, trust me. I, I know. 
okay? But to the public, we're tired of it. We don't want to keep hearing about your fucking foot, okay? Um, no shade, Megan, no shade, okay? Um, now, low key though, I also want to talk about, um, you know, what will be in this documentary or docu-series, okay? Are you going to be discussing, you know, you getting cheated on by party or you cheating on party? Are, are you, like, are you going to be discussing your relationship, relationship drama? Are you going to be discussing your best friend fallout drama? Like, what's going to be the T, okay? Because, we, you know, every single docu, docu-series or documentary, there has to be some juicy tina that we are going to be able to hear, okay? You can't just put out some boring-ass, you know, show and think we're going to be tuned in, okay? We're going to see what's going on. We're going to see what's going on. Maybe she's going to talk about, you know, um, life without her mom and dealing with, you know, the loss of her mother. Um, you know, we, should, we could be hearing things about that. Um, or we could just be hearing about her in the studio and her musical ability, okay? Or lack thereof, okay? Um, let's get into that. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Will you all be tuned into Megan's um, docu-series, okay? No shade, but, you know, I don't know who who's going to be tuning into that. Like, nobody's talking about it. Like, yeah, it was published on the timeline. Like, oh my gosh, it's coming out, it's coming out. But nobody's sitting around excited for it. Like, <laughs> No shade. Nobody was like geeked up and like, oh my gosh, I'm ready to hear. I'm ready to hear. I'm ready to see. I'm ready to see it. No. Okay. And you know, maybe that maybe that might change with the right promotion or the right marketing. But it just seems like many people are not really interested in Megan Thee Stallion's life as of right now. Um, you know what I'm saying? Not really. Not really. But like I said, the right promotion for the for the docu series, the right marketing, people will, will be tuned in. They will be tuned in. Okay. All right, child, moving on to Nicki, okay? I want to go ahead and get into Nicki Minaj. Um, you know, there's been an update in the numbers, okay? Um, Nicki Minaj extends her record for the highest grossing hip-hop tour for a female rapper in history, grossing over $81.7 million for over 45 shows, okay? Um, it was just $70 million a couple days ago. Now we're at $81.7 million. The number's about to go up, y'all. The numbers are about to go up, okay? Um, this is crazy. Records just keep extending, child, okay? Everybody want to be Nikki. Okay. Everybody want to go on tour now. Everybody want to have their own tour. Everybody want to make it. Like, it's like, yeah. Okay. I understand. I understand. Okay. When you see these numbers like this, you can want to go on tour too. But let me tell you something right now, baby. A lot of y'all ain't Nikki. And a lot of y'all won't see the numbers that Nikki be seeing. Okay. And I know that hurts. <laughs> I know it hurts your soul to hear this, but it's just a fact. Okay. It's just a fact. Yeah. I'm also finding it quite crazy that Nicki Minaj is out here making these girls net worth in just two months like you know the numbers that she's putting out on tour that's what these girls are worth okay with their net worth all right so that's great it's, hey i'm excited i'm i'm really excited um but no, low-key no shade Nicki minaj she could make a bit more money if she raised her prices a bit because her tickets for her show are very affordable like you can get a good seat for like 190 dollars. okay that's really really good like and 190 dollars is not going to be like in the sky box like i'm sorry not sky box on the nosebleeds it's going to be like you know a cute little seat you know, mid range, okay. You know, 190 without tax. You know, it's gonna be you. You gonna get you a good little seat, okay. She ain't trying to pull no Beyonce stunt and charge you five hundred dollars to six hundred dollars for a standard seat. That's just fuck crazy, okay. So yes, yes, yes. Congratulations on that. Congratulations on that, okay. Now moving on to this next segment. All right, we got some tea to get into. We got some tea to get into. Um, it seems like there has been some resurfaced. Um, you know, Facebook posts regarding Sexy Red. Um, Sexy Red, y- y'all know Sexy Red. Nicki Minaj and Sexy Red, they real cool now, allegedly. Um, you know, Nicki loves her. She's put she's put her on like well actually Nicki Minaj and Sexy Red have worked together twice. Um on the Pound Town 2 song and on the um FTCU remix um with Chris Brown, Travis, and you know, Nicki. Okay, now let's get back into it. Now, fans find posts from Red's Facebook account sharing a post calling Nicki Minaj an opportunist. All right, this is 2019. Um, the account says Nicki is an opportunist. She's only using Megan because Meg is hot right now. Okay, and then Miss Nay Savage, okay, aka Sexy Red's Facebook page, um, she then replied and said that, um, you know, Cassie Burton said this, okay? Basically, she's agreeing with her friend Cassie Burton, and she's agreeing with the post. Because if you didn't agree with it, you would not repost it. You wouldn't have anything to say about it. You would not engage in it at all. Like, you wouldn't interact. You would leave it alone, okay? So, it's just rubbing people the wrong way. You know, it really is. Um, 
But I don't know. I I, I feel like low key, everybody has had their opinion on Nicki before fame. Like everybody has. Like we've seen tweets from City Girls, you know, Sexy Red. We've seen tweets from like a lot of artists who you know mentioned Nicki before they were famous. Okay. And, you know, the girls just don't know what it means to be famous. And they don't understand the industry. So that's why they're always, you know, having these tweets being leaked. Now, does this mean that, like, you know, she's completely innocent? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, that was five years ago. I'm pretty sure her opinion has changed on that because she's worked with Nicki Minaj, you know, many times. Okay? Um, so I, I wouldn't say Red is an op or Red is, like, an enemy. But I'm definitely looking at her a little sideways right now because it's like... Girl, what you mean that, you know, like, what you mean she opportunists? What you mean? You know, what you what, 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 what you trying to say, okay? Um, but then again, I don't know. I feel like low-key, deep down the side, Red, she doesn't really have any, like, bad blood towards Nikki. I, I, I just, I really feel like she doesn't. Because first off, no shade, but Red was not the one who said the tweet. Red was just the one pointing it out and mentioning what the tweet had said. I could see if she was saying it herself, but I don't know. It's kind of interesting to me because I feel like, you know, I don't know, okay? I don't really take Sexy Red seriously anyway. So even if she said Nicki Minaj is, is crazy, and I wouldn't even, like, care. Because no shade, like, Sexy Red doesn't even take herself seriously. So why would I care what she has to say about other people? No shade. Let's move on to this next up. All right, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Kai Sinat, Kanye West, and Kim Kardashian right now, they're all facing backlash because um, Northwest was featured in one of Kai's um you know videos or more so like she was seen hanging out with kai and people feel like this is just so inappropriate this is just disgusting why is a preteen hanging out with a middle age mid 20 well he's like 21 21 year old man okay they feel like it's just disgusting whoop whoop whoop, whoop. now okay People are really mad. Like, people are just calling them out, like, left and right. They think it's so disgusting. It's just awful. All this stuff, right? Cool. Now, why do y'all feel like this is disgusting? I don't see a problem with it. Like, Kai is a social media personality. Um, and obviously, North likes Kai in, in terms of just what he produces in his work. Why are we making this weird? Why are we making this a big, weird deal? Okay, why are we doing that? that? Like, that's just showing how disgusting y'all minds are. Like, you find an issue with this? There's so many more crazier things going on in this world. First of all, there's cameras around Kai and um, Northwest around the whole entire interaction. So what the fuck are y'all on? There's other adults around too. Why y'all acting like Kai is out here trying to, like, touch on little girls? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all, I, I realize a lot of people's minds are twisted and sick. Like, they're just so, they're twisted like like a, like, a, like, a, like a Twizzler, okay? What's going on with y'all, okay? And do I feel like Kai needs to get backlash for this? No, he doesn't. He doesn't need no backlash, okay? Um, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. What is, like, for real, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand the big problem here, the big issue. Um, you know, Kai, you know, I don't know. Um, Kai was attending Northwest's birthday party, okay? And people just stop, people just have a weird mentality with that. Like, celebrities can't meet fans now? The world is just really insane, okay? What's wrong with celebrating a child's birthday at a child's birthday party, okay? I don't know. If you think this is weird, you're the weird one. You're the weird one. You're, you're the creepy one. You're the disgusting person with the, dis disgust, the, disgust, the disgusting mind. The, dis the disgusting mind. All right, y'all. Congratulations to my girl SZA, okay? SZA's SOS becomes the first album in history to spend 75 weeks at number one on Billboard's top R&B albums chart, okay? Um, she surpassed a lot of people in terms of Michael Jackson, um, Beyonce. Like, she is, she is doing a lot, okay? I'm proud of her, all right? She got all these achievements, but no album of the year. That's just sad to me. Like, she, like if anything, she was snubbed big time for album of the year. But hopefully, SZA drops her new version of her album soon, okay? And um, we can go ahead and hear some of that music, okay? But I don't know. She's she been teasing the deluxe version. Um, the album is supposed to be called Lana. She's been teasing that for a while now. We haven't gotten it still, so I don't know. I think it's her management, her team. I think her team is holding her back low-key in regards to, like, you know, just put, putting out her music. 
You know what I'm saying? I feel like they're just holding her back and just not allowing her to really, like, do what she wants to do with her stuff. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just feel like, personally, deep, deep down inside, like, it just sucks when, like, you have so much hype around you and you're not dropping your newest projects. You need to drop it now. Because no shade, but yeah, you hot right now, but the heat don't always stay hot, baby. Seasons change. Okay? Them leaves start falling and the snow start falling and it gets cold. All right? Now, I ain't saying that he ain't gonna come back because, you know, summertime always spins the block every single year, every single season, but you gotta, like, strike the iron while it's hot. No shade with it, no shade with it, okay? So, SZA, congratulations, but put out some more music, okay? This is the time where you need to be putting out a lot of shit. People, people, get, people get comfortable, all right? They get comfortable, okay? But no, she is on tour right now, so I do give her her props for that. I do give her her props, but, um, yeah. Okay, that's my personal opinion on that. Congratulations on, you know, over 75 weeks at number one. Moving on to um, Miss Still a Song, okay? Um, as you all may or may not know, but Nicki Minaj has a song called Pink Friday Girls, okay? And she samples the Cindy, um, you know, song, Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. Cool, right? Great. Why are we now seeing Ice Spice tease a Cindy sample as well for Girls Wanna Have Fun, okay? For her new album, Watch UK. What's really going on here? Okay. Um, what is really going on? I don't know what's going on here. Like, it's, it's like she almost wants to be Nikki. You stole her flow, her last song for uh, Shanghai. You stole that. Um, then you stealing her whole sample that she did for Sydney. Now, granted, I know Sydney owns the song Girl Just Wanna Have Fun, but Nikki just, just, just did a whole sample for that song. Just brought Cindy out on Nikki's tour. Like, why are you trying to steal her whole flow? You trying to steal her whole movement? Like, girl, like, that's not your brand. Okay. Um, it's just weird to me. Okay. Um, didn't Nikki just do this? Like, it's crazy how, like, she's trying to, like, almost steal Nikki's style and Nikki's flow and Nikki's entire vibe right after the whole, like, baby storm situation happened. Like, why are you doing that now? Like, what what makes you want to do that now? You see what I'm saying? Like, what what's the correlation, okay? I think she's trying to, like, use the barbs for her album rollout. She's trying to use the barbs for uh, promotion for her newest album like i just said her newest singles but girl nobody wants that like nobody's tuning into that like like we're over you ice we don't want you like the barbs are done with you i promise you the barbs if you go against the barbs in any any way any slight situation i don't care the barbs do not like you and i think that she's trying to re-get that support back girl you no they done with you they're not gonna stream your music they're not gonna tune in the barbs don't care if you did a whole entire apology on youtube live they're not gonna like you <laughs> Okay, but yeah, yeah, that's the tea on that. That's the tea on that. What you think about this, y'all? Do y'all find it quite weird? Like, I find it weird. I find it really interesting. Like, why are you doing this? Like, it just don't... <laughs> it don't sit right with me. Like, you want to steal her samples, steal her flow, steal her hair, steal her entire fan base. Like, girl, you want to be her. You want to be her. Copycats crunch you like an apple, for real. All right? Um, right? Let's move on to this next topic, okay? Moving on to Miss Bad Gallery. We um rihanna she has um made history okay well not made history she ain't making history yet the shit just came out but um fenty hair is doing good y'all it's doing good all right rihanna's fenty hair launch is selling like wildfire okay people are in love with this product people are in love with her collection okay um rihanna truly knows how to grow a brand and i love this it's so inspiring to me it's so inspiring to me um now rihanna i love this for you rihanna makes all this stuff looks e like she makes it look easy she makes it look like it's so easy to do you know she makes it look like having a brand is just a piece of cake but it's not it's hard work and it takes time to build it up okay um wow i love it i love this okay um her brand management is so well and rihanna herself is very relatable as a person so it's so easy for us to just click with her products because we like rihanna as a person so like oh yeah i, I like rihanna i'm about her stuff it's not hard it's, it's a no-brainer okay um yeah and people were like damn like she's still like shitting on sacred yup sacred sacred is doing good but it ain't really like doing like you know, crazy, 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 crazy good. You know what I mean? I don't know. I mean, people like Sacred. Don't get me wrong. I like my Sacred product, but I don't know if I'll buy it again. You know, I don't know if I'll get it again. That's the thing. I don't know if people... I don't know if Sacred is a brand that people are going to continue to buy over and over again. I think people bought Sacred because like, oh, it's Beyonce's product. Let me see what it's about. 
and then after that it's like okay then what like we're not gonna buy it again because it's like we don't like we don't like it you know what i'm saying um but like i did say though people some people do like it they do like it though don't get me wrong okay uh but yes y'all rihanna congratulations girl i'm proud of you but you know I don't expect you to flop when it comes to your businesses and your brands because you you know how to run you know how to run it okay but yes y'all let's chat let's get into it let's talk let's communicate let's have us a good little conversation all right and yeah y'all i'm gonna see y'all in the next video i will see y'all in the next one be sure to leave a like comment subscribe tap that bell so you can get an alert every single time i post a new video okay and i'm gonna see you in the next one be safe